Well, I know it's been a while since I've uh, done an update on my aquaponic system. You can tell I'm a little short on fish on this system. But, you know, the Swiss chard's doing okay. And uh, I've got an onion growing in here. Let me uh, show you the others. My mint needs to be pulled up. It's uh, gotten root bound. And uh, it's not doing real well. This one over here is my little jungle. This one's uh, got enough fish in the system. Got me a little cabbage tree here. I just kind of been taking the leaves off the bottom and eating them. And uh, my uh, purple basil's gone to seed. So I'm going to be collecting some of that seed here pretty soon. Plant outside next year. And uh, doing real well with this system. Now let me show you what's going on outside. Mm. Oh, my birds are doing okay. Getting lots of eggs from these guys. And uh, I've added a few more. I've got... Uh, Ten, 10 females and 4 males. They had to separate the males. They're just causing too much too much commotion. But anyhow, I'm enjoying eating quail eggs. And uh, over here, my stevia kind of neglected it. I need to trim it up and dehydrate it and let it keep growing. My uh, Lettuce over here is doing okay. I've got a couple of basil plants in pots. And my uh, rosemary is doing pretty good. Got a little more lettuce here. And uh, pulled up the Swiss chard out of this bed. Cleaned it up a little bit. I've got uh, two different kinds of lettuces here. And uh, some mustard greens over here. And going to start eating on this. This side's the tallest, this side's the shortest. I planted this side first, then I planted this, and then I planted this. These mustard greens really grow fast. Um, I've had a few little incidences since uh, the last time I filled, uh, or had an update. I've had two different fish die on two different occasions in this tank here. And uh, they get up there and they block the drain. I lose about 75 gallons of water. It's uh, kind of irritating when that happens. I'm going to have to figure out something so that that doesn't happen anymore. And uh, I've uh, replaced the uh, the pump in this system because you know it ran dry twice. It still, it was still working, but this performance fell way off. And I went to it, went from a 500 gallon to a 700 gallon. I was trying to get a nine, but uh, didn't have one here local. They weren't in stock at the moment. But uh, everything's going pretty good with the system. Um, everything's, uh, I just fed these fishies over here. And uh, they, they like to hide under these, I don't know how all those fish manage to get hidden in there, but they do. But, uh, everything's going pretty good. I've, uh, shut down the duckweed pond. It was just pulling way too many nutrients out of the system. And, uh, it wasn't growing well, and nothing else was growing well. So, uh, I just, I just, uh, Fed all the duckweed to the fish and uh, closed it down. But uh, anyhow, um, like I said, I'm I'm still uh, running my system. I've enjoyed the heck out of it. Um, Really encourage you if you want to try something like this to, to go ahead and do it. Um, 
You can make a whole lot of mistakes and still get a whole lot of food out of these things. Um, the more I learn, the more I find out I don't know. Um, I've pretty much got the system stabilized at about um, 6566 6, 6 on the pH. And uh, it's stayed there for uh, over a month now. I'm not having to mess with the water quality at all. Um, I still add a little uh, potassium and, and lime every now and again just to keep the plants growing well and a little bit of iron. But uh, this uh, overflow I built here has really been really worked well to help keep my system clean. I put this pipe over the top of it so that it pulls the water from the bottom of the system instead of the top and it helps keep the bottom of the tank clear and I don't know if you can tell my water is pretty clear here too. Um, like I said if you like this sort of thing please subscribe and uh, hit the like button and remember people Life is good. Be safe.